All right, so I need to go into the freaking archives and try to find my ski gear. I think it might be in this one. Yeah, okay. Some ski socks. This is my obnoxious matching set that I wear most of the time from Nike. Oh boy. All right, let's see. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. I currently am living in Park City, Utah. I've been here for about like two months now, maybe even three. I really have no clue. But today is a really big day here because on November 20th, it is opening day. So it is the first ski day of the year. The mountain is opening up. So my brother and I are going to go and just get some turns in. It's going to be like just all groomers, obviously, probably just staying at the same base lift. I'm 21 years old now. I've been skiing since I literally was like three and I've never have been here for an opening day. So I'm excited to experience this and just like see the vibe and the energy. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of ski bums who are super, super hyped there. I'm um, just like hanging at the bottom of the mountain. So I'm excited and I just wanted to document it. So let's go. <laughs> Why are these like crusted? Jeez, I right. have to break those in. Why are they so crusted? What are you crusted? I don't know, they like wouldn't pull apart or I just ain't used to it. Yeah, they're probably just. A little yeah. stiff in them. Yeah, Got right. some dust on them. A ski? Someone talked to me today, I'm just gonna say, a ski? <laughs> Man, we back though. No, no. We got a sweet right now. Where are we parking? <laughs> One thing I do pride myself in are these gods. I'm too much of a Jerry for these gods. Oh. <laughs> Uno momento. No expectations, could be a big weight line, might not be. We're gonna get one lap in. But you know what, we're just happy to be here. Yeah. All the snow is gone. So we did have a lot of snow. Now of course opening day, it's like, hit grass. Good morning. Oh my gosh, there's two Jerry's coming in to ski. <laughs> I skied. Ski? Thank you, sir. Well. Welcome to Jerry City, boys. What's up? Yeah. Go up there? Yeah. Cool, thank you. Go get special parking, though. Did you hear him? No, what do you say? You get to park with these other vans up here. Oh, I skied. <laughs> well, come on, boys. What's up, fellas? <laughs> I haven't been on the first time cheerlift since my first time. Get it off, get kicked out. Right before we went on our first ride, my, I was still like kind of halfway getting dressed and my mask was down like this and the guy like said something to me, I was like, dang it. I have to make sure I like get in the habit of keeping it up. Whole ski season kind of stays like this sort of vibe. It'll be pretty tight, not packed like at all. I know, and we'd have so much more snow. Right? Just to fill you guys in on like how the mountain's gonna work this year because COVID obviously is still impacting it. So basically what you have to do is, I guess you like have to wear a face mask, which makes sense and which you already have to do. And then you need to reserve a spot online, which don't you do that the Wednesday before, or every Wednesday, Wednesday they open up? Wednesday at 2 p.m. and opens for the next like week. Basically. Okay, so you have to reserve your spot so there is they're like monitoring the capacity But other than that like everything's pretty normal, right? Everything's normally set and my brother He was the one that reserved our reservations for today and basically apparently he had like 40,000 45,000 people ahead of him in the queue in order to reserve 
but so that we had to wait. It includes yeah. all the Vail resorts though. So like, oh, oh, so Vail, it's not just Brack, Park City. Whistler, yeah. So how long did it take you, like an hour to reserve? It took reserve? me like 40 minutes, 45 minutes to, to get reserve. in. But then everything was open, I didn't have a problem once I got in. It's a little bit different this year, but it's still manageable. And like when we first found out about needing to reserve, we weren't sure if it kind of was gonna like kill the vibe or kind of make it better because then more people wouldn't come out. And I mean, what Luke was saying, like if it's staying like this, it might be for the better yeah. because less people are gonna be coming out in general because they don't wanna deal with reservations or whatnot. So this winter we could be getting more more good snow to ourselves, but I guess we'll see. Just happened to be here all around. You know, another bluebird day. Can't complain, baby. Yeah. Armada gang though. Armada gang though. <laughs> I brought the pow boards out just in case we get some fresh snow. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how you guys listen to me during the <laughs> vlogs because my voice is probably so annoying when I talk like that. <laughs> I skied, <laughs> but I didn't stop it though. <laughs> I'm showing you guys this for when I do another vlog mid-season. Look at this, okay, this is how bare it is now. Just wait mid-season, you're gonna be like, what the heck, it's scared, scared. Okay, oh my, my hand's getting cold, so I'm gonna go Okay, we're Liners. done here. The vlog liners. <laughs> liners? <laughs> Let's go up there. I'm and done. I'm looking rougher than rough. The day was really good and it just was nice to get on skis. Honestly, the conditions were better than I thought they would be. And also, if you guys know who Tom Wallace is, we saw him in the lift line. Yeah, yeah, pretty funky. Oh, I have a package, don't even, yeah. <laughs> to make this day even better, I finally got my campus protein package in, which, not even gonna lie, this took like literally 14 to 19 days to get here. I don't know why it took so long. We're back at the side, fireside chat bites. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You guys, I'm not kidding, I have waited. I ordered this like November 5th and it is the 20th. I don't know, I think the package got lost. I'm convinced because I went to track it like a little bit after I had ordered it and it said like delivery date pending and then it just was blank for like weeks and all of a sudden it was like, oh, delivery date is the 20th. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. I got some more pure protein bars, which I do really, really love these bars. They aren't the most natural thing in the world, but the macros are really good and they taste really good. So this is in the chocolate deluxe flavor, which I really like. I'm so excited. For protein powder, this is my all time favorite protein powder ever. So many people ask me like via my Instagram, like, oh, what's your favorite protein powder? Da, 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 da. The longest time I like didn't have one because I honestly just like didn't really take supplements on a consistent basis. But let me tell you, this one is it. So it's the PE Science Vegan Protein. I just love this one because there's a minimal ingredients list. There's literally like six ingredients in here. The macros are amazing. And for vegan protein powder, it's so smooth. The consistency makes it so well, like even just in a shaker bottle with water even. And I've since it doesn't use whey, it's really easy on my digestion. So this is like, I swear by this stuff. So the vanilla one is really, really good for smoothies. I just finished their chocolate peanut butter one, which was pretty good. At first I didn't really love it, it grew on me. And now I'm gonna try the cinnamon delight, which I don't know if I'm gonna like this one, but for some reason, I just wanted to try it. I also got some BEA, BEAAs, yep. BCAAs from Extend, and this is their natural zero line, so there's no artificial sweeteners in here. So it is naturally flavored and sweetened, and this is in their strawberry kiwi splash flavor. So I just like to have these on hand, like especially if I'm craving like a sweet drink, I just will go for some BCAA. And then I also got some RX bars in the chocolate sea salt flavor because I wanted a little bit more natural bars because I have been pounding normal protein bars like all summer so i wanted to try to have a little bit more natural option dude also in my excitement i whipped out this mask which i forgot they're gonna send me one of these dude and i've been wanting one of these it's adjustable dang that that's nice it feels nice oh wait why do i think this is so cute so it says cp on it and then campus protein on the side. Uh, dude, this adjustable strap is kind of a game changer and I like the red. Don't even lie, this is kind of sick. I haven't even looked in the mirror, but I feel like it's sick. And there's also 
a place in here for a filter. Alrighty, so that is officially everything that I ordered. As always, you can use code LIFTIT if you want to order anything from Campus Protein and you'll get free shipping. And as you can see, I ordered like a bunch of different of my favorite brands on there and that's why I love Campus Protein so much. Like you can order any of your favorite brands, any of your favorite products on there because they carry so many, so many different things on there. And it's just so convenient to be able to order all of your favorite supplements in one place. Welcome. All right, it's now like 4 p.m. and I did a bunch of boring homework that you guys didn't want to see. I did some emails for like some partnerships with Lift Fit, and now I'm going to go to the gym and do some push upper body. Then hopefully by the time I come back, my sister Natalie will be here. She's coming into town from Jackson Hole, Wyoming, so that'll be exciting. And her, my brother, and I are all going on a trip to Arizona and all like Southern Utah, like a road trip for Thanksgiving. So it'll be pretty fun. I don't know why I'm sitting here in the driveway. It's because I can't multitask. Ishka, can she clear at my? Oh, that was so close. Okay, we're gonna go to the gym now. And you guys, I can't promise you I'm gonna film it because it's four o'clock and this is like rush hour and I just, I get too nervy. But I'll check with you guys after. All right, I just got back from the gym and I had a pretty decent workout. It was all right, I didn't feel like super strong, but I feel like I'm getting a lot better at like my push upper body lifts, which is good. I'm getting more practice. Now, of course, it's time for post-workout shake and I wanted to try this select protein that I showed you guys earlier that I got. Dude, you know what? See this? Scooper, buried. But, wanna know my lift fit hack? Grab your sight of one of these. <laughs> Put it in here. Oh, see, look at that. We already struck some gold, baby. And then you kind of just scoop it out. Isn't that kind of genius? You can tell me. Okay, so this is in the flavor Cinnamon Delight, which I really don't know which way this is gonna go. I like cinnamon protein over the summer, but I made it like in smoothies. So I've never had it just like straight, but I just have water in here. This is like the ultimate test. You can't sugarcoat it. When it's water, a shaker. Let's go for it, boys. I, it kind of just tastes like straight freaking cinnamon from the spice container. Is it good? Yeah. Can I drink it? Yeah. Is it my favorite? Not really. But like it's good. Consistency? Good. Overall, I give it a 7. Overall, I still like chocolate peanut butter the best, vanilla, and then cinnamon delight. This would be really good to like bake with dough. Oh, show. Alright, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.